Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Walking Dead. And it's your boy here, Tempted. So we're going to do Let's Play of The Walking Dead, the Telltale Definitive series. Now, I will tell you this. I have played The Walking Dead Telltale games uh, way back when and such as, you know, and they are amazing. However, I've forgotten what to even expect in this game and what it's all about and whatnot. So we're going to go right on in. We're going to we're going to we're going to dive on in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive on in here. All right, so this is what the main menu really looks like. Is you got your season selection, developer commentary, character viewer, art gallery, music player, settings, credits, and exit game, of course. I'm gonna be using a Xbox uh, uh, One controller because it's just easier with controller um, to play games such as this. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how far we can really get here. So welcome to The Walking Dead the Definitive. Um, edition. Uh, of course, we're going to be starting out with Season 1, how it all started as the world ends. Lee Everett looks for redemption and fights to protect the young Clementine. So for those of you that don't know Lee Everett, Lee Everett is the tall guy on the left where Clementine is, and Clementine is the short little gal on the right. Now, I will tell you, the series is emotional. It is phenomenal. It is just absolutely amazing. There's so much uh, choices to make in, in games like these. And I love these kinds of games, story-based, choice-based games. And of course, the choices you make, they reflect uh, towards the next episodes, towards the next uh, things and such as. So we got play, settings, definitive game, uh, definitive menu, and then exit game. So we're going to be pressing play. And... Uh, we're going to go with uh, the standard mode because uh, I do like to have like all the little dots and everything as to what I'm supposed to be looking for. Uh, this is the minimal where the UI hints and help choice notifications are off. Uh, this is the UI hints and feedback and such which are on. So we're going to go with standard mode because it just it just feels right. It feels right to do. Episode 1, A New Day. It's going to be great. A new day. It's going to be so great. This game, uh, you guys will love this series. So we're, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to do like one episode each time. So I don't know how long this, uh, this series will go. I don't know how long these episodes will be. Hilda Games presents in association with Skybound Entertainment. Also, Skybound was also great. The Walking Dead. Ah. And for those of you that don't know, I like to drink my tea or coffee while I play a game. Episode 1, A New Day. I do hope that the mic quality and audio quality is good. It might be a wee bit loud, but... Yeah. Ah! Ah! We ever it. Oh, I remember this. Oh my god. Choices, choices, choices. What to make of them. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh, does it really matter? You know what they say about reckoning. Why do you say that? Mm -hmm. I want to say, why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. We get to look around here too. I mean, uh, what do you say? Every time? Mm -hmm. I want to say every, every time. time? Every time. And then we can look outside. Ah, oh, we're in a cop car, by the way. Use the right stick to look around. That's what I've been doing. Now, aim at the mirror. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Picked up on that. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. So this is basically your tutorial respect. here. Oh, okay. A real shame, that is. Oh, there go... Hell, some more police cars. Family okay. Used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. 
Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Yes. You want to know how I see it? Sure. Why not? Sure. Ooh, that stare. That's like a death stare. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Uh. Ah, he doesn't say anything. <sighs> yeah, he's like, ah, what's the point? What's the use? You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. Oh, there goes the chopper. All the sirens and everything. Everybody's just leaving, you know? I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. I think this is where... Yeah, I think this is where. Uh, and before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like yeah, a fussy baby on an airplane. If I remember, tell him he's got to stop. But that's government yeah, property. Yeah, this is the accident. This is where the accident happen happens. Otherwise, so he stops and, having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't, it wasn't me. me. So did he do it? So did he do it? Of course they he did the it. the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his oh, wife, by the way, cutting her up strong as the language. boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. Uh -oh. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Fucking this other time. <laughs> I may have to turn the audio down. That was a little loud. I apologize, everybody. I apologize for that. Oh boy. By the way, strong language uh, is is advisable. Ugh. I don't like the crunching sound. The crunching sound just sounded really, really bad. I didn't like that. Oh. Now, for those of you that don't know me, when I play Shit. horror games or zombie games in general, uh, the gross sloshing crunching sounds are just the worst for me. And I just get so, like, like, you know, ah, like, you know, ah, about it, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's not fun. All right, use the right stick to look around and find a way out of the car. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here! All right, so he is clearly dead. Look at the Why shotgun. How the hell did he have his gun out? Mm. Mm. Ah, here we are. Boot it. <laughs> Boot it all. Oh yeah, baby. All right, now I gotta use that and then get on out. Come on, Lee, you got this. Oof, yeah. There you go. Ooh. Again, with the crunching sounds and such like that, it's just oh. Use left stick to move. But yeah, this the first episode here. The first portion of the episode here is basically your um, your tutorial and such as just until you get to Herschel's farm. Yes, there is Herschel's farm. Um, so this part I kind of know exactly what to do on. We gotta pick up the slug. Always do this first. Always pick up the slug, and then load it in the shotgun. Of course, Lee can't really move that well. Looks empty. 
but you have a slug. Oh, you right. It'll be okay, easier right. To carry right. With these cuffs off. Yeah, that's right. Right, right, right. I forgot. I forgot. Sorry about that, Lee. We gotta go over here, go to the downed officer, and uh, get the keys. All right. Oh, hey, look at that. Now. Uh, whoopsies. <laughs> Butterfingers. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, we're good. There you go. Look at that. Ah, we're good. Officer. <laughs> Jump scare. All right, now we get the shotgun. See, we're gonna back away real fast. Just like that. There's the shotgun. Get away from me! Alright, come on, pick it up. And then we gotta load it on in. Oh yeah, there goes the slug. That's fine. No worries, no worries, we got it. Do Don't make that. me do this! And bang! Oh yeah, also very much graphic content here, so for those of you that are a little bit squeamish. Either look away or get on out of here because uh, it's very graphic, yeah. very gory, very bloody. Yeah. Call out to a mysterious figure. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Yeah, that's uh, that doobie Clementine that we saw. And now there's more walkers ah. or deadies. Oof. Come on, Lee. Get up. Run, Lee. Run. The one thing... I don't, I'm sorry. You know what? I'll wait. It's a little bit loud. a little wee bit loud I do apologize for that um as soon as I look this over I will see on how the volume is and such as I I do hope that you know it is good it's not bad I may have to turn down the game the uh, volume again just a little wee bit oh yeah Okay. Now, usually when it comes to uh, the Walking Dead Telltale series and such, I love the design, all Hello? right? I mean... Anybody? We'll say right now, the, the design right now, as it is, the Definitive Edition, is not bad, all right? It's not bad. But I find it to be so much darker now. Like, the shading and everything, it just makes everything so much more darker. That, like, that's not a lie, honestly. Because if you were to look back to some of the uh, Walking Dead games like back then and such as, not, not definitive or anything, Help! you would see just what the, um, what the quality and graphics were like before. It was a little bit brighter. It wasn't as dark as this. I mean, dark is great. I do I love the dark. Okay, the dark is awesome. I love how they're trying to make it more spooky. But just anybody up there? Just to like have a look around and such as, and to be able to explore like this, and having it kind of darker, it's like uh, you kind of wonder, like, is Somebody. it is it really that Yell good? Yell if you can hear me. Um, also, Lee Everett can be a little bit annoying at some times, so be wary. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. And this is where, this is where we meet Clementine for the first time. I thought Coming it was in. locked. Don't shoot, okay? I really thought that the the uh, screen door there was locked. I was like, wait, why is he having a little bit of trouble opening it? Ah, but it's not locked. It's just tough. Oh, I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. 
Yeah. These people might need more help than I do. Yeah, they just might. All right, so first things first. Uh, the the first thing about the Walking Dead Telltale series is exploration and uh, kind of, you know, looking and such. Jesus. So always got to uh, have a look. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Yeah. Always examine your your uh, area. God, that kid lived here. Yep, that would be Clementine. Windows. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell's going on? Uh, cables out. Yep, of course. All right, so that ringing that you guys heard, that was the phone. We're gonna go up to the phone and we'll uh, definitely. Start listening on these three, three messages. messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him now back to the ER and have hands. it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Yeah. That's uh, when that was the last time they phoned and everything. Huh? No, ain't your daddy. I ain't your daddy. Hello? You need to be quiet. This is Clementine. Choices, choices. Uh... Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No. No, I'm not. Uh, let's see. How old are you? Where are your parents? Where, Where are, your parents? are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Oh, boy. Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's, That's good. Smart. That is smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Yeah. Hi. Ah. <laughs> Yep. And that is That is Sandra, by the way. Sandra is now a daddy. Oof. Yeah, unconscious. Kick. There we go. And trip fall again. One thing. One thing with uh walking dead. Oh shit. A lot of quick time events, quick time action events. All right, give me the hammer. It's a little bit graphic. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, I think it's dead. Did I do it? Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Whatever it was. Uh, I'm gonna say I don't know. I, I think don't so. Know. I think so. Sometimes we'll remember that. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. 
You've Ugh. been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Jesus. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Yeah. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Yeah. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. Uh, look for help before it gets dark. Yeah. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah. We're choosing the yeah. safety of daylight. It's not safe at night. We're choosing the safety of daylight. Let's go. Stay close to me. And now we got Clementine. Ah, this is where a great bond happens. The start of a great bond. You can never go. You can never, never go wrong with this game. This game is like as classic as it may be. I, I don't even know if I would even say it's a classic. I'd say this is more like one of those games that you just you just can't go wrong with it. You can't. It, there's so much to it. There's so much choices that you can do in this game, and only like one choice out of all the episodes is a right choice. You know. Oh man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Yeah. Oh, it's hot dish night. All right. Let's go. All right. I don't know why my crosshairs are What's are appearing Should I stay? Right in the middle of the screen. What? That's weird. I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They're not coming home, Clem. Um, I won't leave you alone. Yeah. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Maybe these nice gentlemen will help us. Well, don't eat us. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. I mean, I would love to give you a chomp. What are you doing? What is going on? We're looking for help. Um, what are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Oh, I hate that curse for me. Because man. you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't yeah. be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It oh. should be safer there. I'm gonna be I'm honest. Bad. Yeah. Um, Neighbor, her babysitter, just, just some, some guy. guy. Yeah. Some guy. Yeah. Sean knows what you said. She's alone. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Yeah. It is definitely. What do you want to do? I. Come on. The monsters coming. We gotta go. Come on. Quick. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Time to go, time to go, time to go. Come on, push. 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 One more time. Go, go. Yes. Ah, thank you, Clementine. You're helping us out. Good job. Oh, boy. Get it. <laughs> Yeah. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Hell yeah, I did. I saved a total of three lives. Chet, Sean, and Clem. I saved three. Three lives I've saved. Hell yeah. Though, of course, I think once we get to this point in the game, there's, uh, Chet's gonna leave, go to the mama, but I don't know if Chet even survived after this. Because this is, this is the only time we ever get to see Chet. I kind of wish that Chet would stay around, because he seems like a really swell kind of guy. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. Yeah, see? It was nice to meet you both. Really nice guy. Really nice guy. Thank God you're okay. 
I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. And I see you, you brought, brought a couple guests. A couple guests, yeah. Uh, your boys say, uh, we just need some help. We need a place to save your, your boy's, boy's lifesaver. Life glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. Yeah. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Yeah. Uh, do you know this man? Yes. His name is Lee. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. Yeah. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You Hell yeah. Take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. All right, no problem. This should be great. Oh, hey, don't shake your head. Let's have a look. Don't shake your damn yeah. head. This is swollen to hell. Uh, could, could be, be worse. worse. That's what it sounds like. Uh, Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. Yeah, they what sure have. What did you have. say your name was? Um, I didn't. I didn't. Well, now's the time. Herschel will remember that. It's Please. Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Ah. Ooh. How'd this happen? Ah. Yeah. Uh, car accident, jump the bench, fell, don't remember car, car accident. accident. That's so. Where Herschel you made note of that. Before the car accident. Uh, out of land, I know where, just out home. Uh, pff, uh home. home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. Uh huh. Hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Herschel believes awful him. nice of him. Mm -hmm. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and nice. your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. Aww. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Yeah. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow... We gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or Oof. heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how Oh, you said a bad word. Uh, Your yeah. son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. A uh, girl with her guts spilled out, a dead cop crawling on the ground, man got run over, dead people got walking. chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Exactly. Me and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. The more we the merrier. Really. I already said okay. Yeah. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if it doesn't... If it gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Ugh. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Ah. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Bright and, and tomorrow, early. Which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Yeah. Towards Macon. Ah, I love right it. Then. I love it. I love it all. It smells like... Uh, manure. Yeah. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Yes, a Just horse like plops. That. I missed my mom and dad. Oh, we're already okay. getting into it, man. Already getting into How it. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Pretty far. Pretty far. Oh, okay. And everybody yeah. sleeps. <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> Wakes up. There you go. Uh, 
Hollow nightmare, bad dream. Oh my god. Oh, what was me? Alrighty. Hey, get oh. up. Ugh, <sighs> I'm itchy. Well, you well, slept, slept in a barn, barn little lady. lady. Lucky, Lucky you don't, don't have spiders, spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, um, uh, not, not her dad. dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Kenny. Dad, we're no offense. There's a tractor and everything. Yeah. You better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Oh, boy. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Uh. Dodger and a quack. Dodger and a quack. Quacking. Dad! See? See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Hells yeah. Well, I'll ask the girl. Maybe let's see how things turn out. Sure, we'll take long. Let's see what the girl would like. Ah, ah gotta, gotta consult, consult with the, the missus. missus. I, I understand. understand. <laughs> Honey, Duck, this is Lee. <laughs> Jeez, and, uh, I, I like how I can, name? Uh, I can say it word for word, be, like, just before the, the subtitles come up. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. There I am, I right there. Fence. Yeah? Hell well, yeah. I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! cool. Duck oh my god. To. Yeah. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hell yeah. Uh, see, everything is, like, a little bit happy and everything, of course, but, uh, later on, it does get a little bit more intense. But I think we're gonna have to stop it here for now, because I am all out of time. You have such so, pretty hair. shut it. it. Gets lots of shut, shush, shush. My god. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the first Let's Play of The Walking Dead Telltale Definitive Edition. If you guys want to see more, leave a comment below. And as always, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, don't have to subscribe, if you don't want to, sub button, share several wishes and giggles, right beside the sub button or within the sub button, there is a bell if you touch our brother band, bell, get all notifications of when I go live. And if you guys want to see more let's plays, gameplays, playthroughs, walkthroughs, etc., go check out my Twitch channel. Links and everything are in the description below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.